it's time for the kitchen organization tag. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today, we are tackling the chaos that can so often accompany the kitchen. So we're looking at the kitchen organization tag hosted by Chrissy. So, let's get it started. She has a series of 10 questions which she asks about different things related to the kitchen. Number one, do you have a pantry? If so, how often do you clean it out or organize it? Yes, I do have a pantry. It's in my kitchen and I clean it out or organize it every week. On Wednesday is my planning day, so I make my grocery list, I clean out my refrigerator, and I check my pantry. If anything has gotten out of place, I put it back in place so that I can see what's in there, and then I know what to pick up when I run to the grocery store on Thursday. Do you store paper goods in your kitchen? Paper plates, napkins, paper towels, etc. No. I have uh, a bag out in the garage where I keep extra paper plates and napkins and holiday paper plates and things like that. But I really don't have enough space to keep a lot of excess paper goods. I have napkins that I keep in the pantry and then refill the napkin organizer when needed. And if I buy paper plates, I'll put a few of them in the cabinet where I keep my dishes so that if my husband wants to grab a paper plate, it's right there with the dishes. Other than that, I don't keep them in the kitchen. I do have paper towels that I keep in my laundry pantry and extra toilet tissue and things like that that I keep in a basket in my laundry pantry and I'll show you those. Do you prefer glass, plastic, or original food containers to store food in your pantry? Well, I've got some glass containers to store things like flour and sugar and macaroni and things like that. I use the mason jar system. I learned about it from At Home with Nikki and she is such a master organizer. And it just really made so much sense to me. So that's how I've organized my things. I do have um, cereal, a few boxes of cereal in Rubbermaid containers. Um, and I think that's about it. Other than that, most of the items are in the box or container they came in. This is my kitchen pantry and up here you can see where I keep some things in my mason jars. Things like wild rice, pasta, grits, sugar, flour, those kind of things I store up here in the um, mason jars. Down here I have some baskets and things like that where I've got my soups and canned goods and boxed foods and other things in here, coffees and teas, that kind of thing. Over here you can see where I store other items. I've got some Rubbermaid containers over here that I keep cereal in. Up here my husband has another Rubbermaid container that we keep fish batter in or I should say the breading to make fish batter. And more canned goods and things like that here. Some extra box cereal and other box foods and things like that. So that's my pantry and you can see how I store items in there. Do you have a command center space, message board, key drop, calendar, etc.? We have a key center where we hang all of our keys on this hook that my husband made. And um, we have a calendar in the kitchen where maybe he'll write his work days, I might schedule appointments on there, something like that. But for the most part, what we do is we'll sit down at the kitchen table on Sunday night or Monday morning and we'll take a look at our calendar and we'll talk about what we've got going on for the week. Here's the key hook that my husband made and we just hang keys and different things like that on there. So if you come to visit our house, you lay your keys on the table, I put the keys over there on that hook. That way you can always find them when you get ready to walk out the door. 
How do you store your takeout menus? We really don't have any. We eat most of our meals at home now. I cook, but if we do go out places like Olive Garden or Applebee's or wherever, we just look at the menus once we get there. So that's it. We don't store any takeout menus. Number six, do you have a junk drawer? And if so, how do you clean it? I have two junk drawers. And I cleaned junk drawer one out a while back, and I did a video when I cleaned it out, so I'll link that below. And unfortunately, it's a messy again. It just stays disorganized. I don't care what I do, how often I get in there, it just stays a hot mess. Junk drawer two, I just kind of stuff all kind of little things in there, little utensils, and I just can never seem to keep those two areas together. They need work. Question number seven. How often do you purge your kitchen gadgets? Meaning manual can opener, non-electric, etc. I only pitch my kitchen gadgets when they break down, if they're defective or if they don't work for whatever reason. I'll pitch them then. I've got a few kitchen gadgets that I think are just cute, like an apple slicer. Uh, pastry cutter, things like that, and I rarely discard those unless there's a problem with them. How do you store your spices, cabinet, drawer, etc.? I keep my spices in a spice cabinet. I've got some of them organized on the door of the cabinet in some neat little shelves and then on the inside. And I'll show you a video of that. Here's my spice cabinet. You can see I've got some spices stored in small racks on the door. And then when you look to the interior of the cabinet, I've got my olive oils and balsamic vinegars and different things like that on the top shelf with a few other baking things like my Hershey's cocoa. That middle rack has just other spices, just different things that I need and use. And on the bottom shelf are some of the other things that I use most often. So there's my spice cabinet. I do have a small basket that I keep garlic in and a shallot. And I normally have that over in the pantry, but I put it over here in the spice cabinet so that you can see it. There's really not room in there for that. So once I, I actually break the garlic apart and take some of the cloves out, then I will put them in this little container here. So I have cloves of garlic in here that have already been taken apart. So that lives in there. And then this little Loggenberger basket with these other garlic cloves lives over in the pantry. How do you store your leftover food storage containers, Tupperware, plastic containers, etc.? I only have probably one bonafide Tupperware container now, and I keep it down uh, below in a cabinet. The rest of them are just simple, like those Gladware or Rubbermaid containers that are fairly disposable. The Gladware is definitely disposable, and the other Rubbermaid containers are not disposable, but they're not real pricey either, and I keep them in a cabinet down below. The rubber maze all stack within one large container. And the Gladware, I only have about eight of them. I stack them with the lids on. Once the lid is damaged or gone, I pitch the container. If there's not a lid for it, I don't want the container now. You can see my storage containers right under here. I only have a very few. They're over there on the left, and then over on the right you just see some other bowls and things that I use. And then down here, again, there's my one bonafide Tupperware container right there, that little orange bowl with the yellow lid. And um, they're not the best organized in there. And then of course, there's my Rubbermaid storage containers. That's the only storage containers that I have. I have a few. 
I have a few Pyrex containers that I might store something in the fridge or freezer, but I really don't have a lot of containers to store excess food. So much goes in storage bags today. Do you prefer to store small appliances on your countertop or elsewhere? If elsewhere, where do you store them? I probably only have two small appliances on my countertop. One is the curry, the other is the base for my bite mix. My toaster I keep underneath on one of those little um, circle thingies that go below the cabinet. My little Emmy I keep in the pantry on the bottom shelf. I have a crock pot that I keep on the top of the refrigerator. I really don't like to keep things on top of the fridge, but it's such a size that it really doesn't fit below the pantry where I keep some other small items. And it's easily accessible there and it doesn't look bad. I guess that's it. So let me thank Chrissy for hosting this challenge. It was really kind of interesting thinking about these questions and how I would respond to them and then taking a peek at what some other people had to say about how their store items. I learned so much from watching how other people manage their kitchen. I just think it's so interesting. So now it's time for me to tag someone. I'm going to tag my sister from another Mr. Lori at Creative Lori, uh, Heidi Sunberg at Heidi Sunberg. I'll tag Sanov at Beautiful Jim and Wani at Wani's house, the Frugal Mista. Angela at Angela's Hangout. I think I'll tag more to life. She's into building and developing a pantry, so you really have to see her pantry. It's amazing. And I think the boss lady. I'll stop there. So those are who I'm tagging. So let's see how you guys answer these 10 questions. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share the love by sharing the link and by all means subscribe. One of the things that I appear to be doing a lot of is participating in challenges, but I also do cook with me, clean with me, laundry with me, and health and wellness and plan with me. If you think you might like that kind of thing, then come on over and join the TNT community. This is Denise Jordan saying.